In today's video, we're going to be looking at the main pros and cons of the French Bulldog breed. Welcome back to the French Bulldog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Frenchie and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect French Bulldog. So if you're a lifelong Frenchie lover, thinking about getting on or just started your journey with your new Frenchie, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. So today's video is where we'll be exploring the pros and cons about the French Bulldog. Let's get started. A key aspect of the Frenchie that has made them so popular and so accessible to a lot of people is their size. This is a compact little dog. They should be no taller than 19 inches and males weigh around 12 kilos, females around 10. They should be no taller than 19 inches and males to weigh around 12 kilos, females around 10. They are suitable for homes of all sizes, from apartments to sprawling country homes. The fact their travel size is the reason they became popular back in the time of the Industrial Revolution. The breed has come a long way, from a dog that was able to grapple with a bull to the compact, squashed face companion we are so familiar with today. They had to adapt to being miniaturised so that they took up less space and didn't need as much food to be attainable for the low-wage mill workers. For an unknown reason, they were extremely popular with female lace makers, and whilst we're not sure of the exact reason, who could really blame them? Intelligence is another pro of the Frenchie. Despite what a lot of people may think, they are extremely intelligent. They pick up trucks with ease, and so training them to behave appropriately can be easy enough that they're suitable for first-time dog owners. Pair this intelligence with a people-pleasing personality and you get a dog that's eager to learn. You may come across some stubbornness or mischief along the way, but this is really ill-natured. The French Bulldog is almost like a toddler. They try their best to make it fun to test your patience sometimes. The French Bulldog is almost like a toddler. They try their best to make it fun to test your patience sometimes, but firm, positive training can curb any issues that this may cause. Another factor that's helped the world fall in love with these dogs comes from their personality traits. The Frenchie is a companion dog through and through. This little dog much refers to the company of people to being isolated. They're extremely affectionate towards their family, wanting to be a part of everything you're doing. So if you're precious about sharing your favourite spot on the sofa, this breed isn't for you. But their affection is arguably what has made them one of the most popular breeds today. They're suited to any family dynamic too. You can be a single Frenchie parent or even a busy family of four. They'll be happy as long as they are fully included and can get the affection that they crave. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free Principles to the Perfect Puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there. Again, there'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. Now for the somewhat negative aspects of the Frenchie. All breeds have their ups and downs and this poppy little dog is no different. French Bulldogs are described as a brachycephalic breed. Breeds of this type are described as having a short muzzle or a flat face. Now, a lot of the major health concerns of Frenchie stems from this appearance fault. Yes, they're cute, but it is to their own detriment. Issues that arise from a shortened muzzle include laboured or noisy breathing, breathing difficulty, heat intolerance, and a heightened risk of asphyxiation pneumonia. It is absolutely crucial to be aware of these issues in order to manage them effectively. To, re to prevent excess laboured breathing, Frenchies shouldn't be allowed to overexert themselves or be exercised in the heat. Their inability to pant efficiently or oxy their inability to pant efficiently to oxygenate or cool down is a serious fault. If they were to overheat, it's very time critical to get them to the vets before they go into shock. Now, I don't want to scare any potential Frenchie owners, I just want to prevent any Frenchies suffering due to a lack of reliable education. Another medical concern is the possibility of them suffering from herniated discs in their spine. It is due to their compact size and that they have been bred with curly tails that has put added pressure on their spine. It's possible for them to suffer from this should they fall awkwardly or be allowed to roughhouse before fully developed. Unfortunately, the only way to fix this should it happen is spinal surgery, which is as serious as it sounds. Good quality insurance is a must when picking this breed to bring home. Vet care is expensive, but for good reason. Do yourselves and your friends a favour and research into reputable insurance before picking out a puppy. 
I'd love to give you preventative measures to protect your French against these medical concerns, but the only way to really stop these issues is from responsible breeding. Due to the massive popularity of these little dogs, there are a lot of puppy farm breeders out there. And this isn't the dog's fault, but it is a negative aspect quite heavily connected to the French Bulldog. These breeders are the ones that haven't done the research, the ones that don't know the issues of breeding flat-faced dogs with one another, and it's the dog and their owners that suffer for it. My advice to you is that you need to do extensive research into buying Frenchie puppies. Make sure you see mum with the puppies and you want to make sure that mum looks healthy and cared for. There is a video with more information about finding the perfect Frenchie breeder on this channel. We believe that education is absolutely key to reducing the backyard breeders from making money and instead investing money into responsible breeding. Right, let's do a quick recap of the points we've made today. These little dogs will be an extremely affectionate companion. They will just give you so much love. And their personality is guaranteed to give you some laughs. But that isn't to say they won't sometimes test your patience. Be sure to mentally stimulate them to satisfy the mischief maker in them. And whilst they do come with some medical concerns, they can be manageable should you do the appropriate research. Buy from a respected breeder or rescue one and do your part, educate yourself on the breed. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog channel.